Hi, this is Sean from Soundcraft, here with another installment of our UI series tutorials. Now we're on chapter six, where we're going to be discussing our Digitech AMP modeling, our DBX automatic feedback suppression, and our Lexkin effects. So before we go into how to use these features, I thought it best if we talk about what they are and how they can help you mix. So first, starting with the Digitech AMP modeling. So the guitarists watching this video out in the world are no strangers to what AMP modeling is and how it can be used. So AMP modeling is in tons of different floorboards, racket units, and heads. And what it does is it allows you to do a lot of different types of sounds and tones, if you're a guitarist, from one box or from one unit. Rather than getting uh, you know, this vintage old tube amp and this other vintage old tube amp, and these things are heavy and they're a lot to lug around, what it does is it's digital models of those amps. Um, so, you know, you can have a, a closet full of, of guitar amps all at your fingertips or on the floorboard. In this case, since we're using a UI, it'll be at your fingertips. So, this has a lot of potential benefits to you users out there. So, if you're a guitarist that's doing, you know, their own sound in their band, the, that's an obvious one, right? You don't have to bring out your guitar amp anymore. All you need to do is bring your guitar, bring your UI, plug into input one or input two, and there you go. You have all your guitar amps right in your digital mixer. So that's the first time that there's ever been a digital mixer with amp modeling built directly into it. Now, for you front of house engineers out there, there's also massive benefit for you guys as well. So the obvious one is you get more toys in the box. You get more tone shaping tools, more things that can help get you a better result uh, in front of house or in monitors as well. Um, but also... Inputs 1 and inputs 2 are also high Z inputs as well, switchable high Z inputs. So rather than bringing out DI boxes and having more kit to have to bring to your gig, you can just bring your UI, have the guitar or basses plug directly into input 1 or 2, enable the high Z input, and there you go. You're at, you have a proper input impedance for a passive pickup. The next feature we're going to talk about is the DBX AFS, or Automatic Feedback Suppression. Every single output on the UI series, that's the master outputs, that's the aux outputs, even the headphone outputs, which can be used as auxes, have uh, DBX AFS on them. So when I usually do a gig, I usually have to take a lot of time to do what's called ringing out the monitors. What that is, is after I do a sound check with the band, uh, set my levels, do all my processing, get the master levels roughly where they need to be, I then need to tell the band to get off stage, go have, you know, go take a chill and relax. And then I have to go do work. And what that is, is I have to go around either with my tablet or, you know, at the mixing console with, it, with an assistant, and we have to go ch ring out all the monitors. What that is, is you, s you just bring up the level until it starts feeding back, you find the frequencies, and then you, uh, you notch them out with a graphic EQ or something like that. Well, the DBX AFS is fantastic because it makes that, which is a pretty tricky process that, you know, needs some skill, turns it into a simple task. Uh, so you have two different types of filters, which we'll get into when we go into it. You have fixed filters, which kind of is like ringing out monitors, but... You don't have to find the frequencies yourself. The, the algorithm does it for you. And then you have the live mode, which responds in real time to the, to the actual mix that you're making. So we'll go over those more, but it's a very powerful feature. And it's a feature that you find in a lot of DBX products, such as the Venue 360, the Drive Rack PA2, and the standalone AFS2 as well. So it's a lot of power in your UI series mixer. The last topic we're going to cover in this video is the Lexicon effects. So just like our SI series consoles, our, our VI series consoles, and our analog consoles, our UI mixers have Lexicon effects built directly into them. Now, a lot of mixers have built-in effects, but only Soundcraft consoles have real Lexicon effects in them. So that's studio-grade reverbs, delays, and modulations right at your fingertips, built right into the unit. So this is really great for, you know, making uh, a space with reverb, you know, like putting all the drum sounds uh, on a reverb bus. Also vocal reverbs, very important. Uh, it's also nice to put delays on it. This is really good for vocals as well, especially on choruses. It's good to ride uh, a delay out on a chorus, for instance. And then you have uh, chorus algorithms themselves. And choruses are really nice on a lot of different sources. I tend to like them on acoustic guitars. Uh, sometimes they're really nice on, on, like, uh, on a backing vocal or something as well. Very useful to have in your locker to use. So that's a brief overview of all of those features and how you can use them. Now let's get stuck in and start using 